Today we're going to be having a look at ecological footprint and we've been studying resources, we've been looking at the unsustainable use of resources and today we're going to see how our ecological footprint is impacting on the environment. So our definition for ecological footprint, which you should have in your glossary, is the measure of a human's dependence on natural resources. So what it's looking at is how much land and sea you would need to provide all the resources that you use, but not just that, it's how you actually can then absorb your waste. So it's looking at productive land and sea. Um, so in 2005, average global footprint per person, 2.7 hectares. Uh, and we only actually in the world have about 2.1 hectares per person. So we can see from that that we're actually using resources and we're wasting more than we can actually keep up with. Okay, so how do we measure this ecological footprint? What they do is they have a look at all the resources that you use. So anything like food, petrol, electricity, gas, housing, um, any materials that you use, and also look at then the waste that you create. And from that, a figure is generated that's measured in hectares per person. So what it's doing is saying, how much land and sea would you need per person per year to actually provide you with all the resources that you need and look after all of your waste. So here's a picture which demonstrates ecological footprint. So it's measuring con the consumption of resources and the waste. So you're looking at all of your energy, um, housing, timber, all the food that you eat, um, seafood, so things from the sea as well, compared to how fast nature can actually absorb that waste and re recreate new resources. Um, so we're looking at crops, forests, built up land and carbon footprint. If we compare ecological footprint across countries, um, like we've been doing throughout the whole unit, you'll see that a footprint of a person living in India, which is a developing country, is about 0.9 hectares. North America about 9.2 hectares and in Australia about 7.8 hectares. So we're using um, we all have a very big footprint here in Australia and we're using more resources than we can save. Just a further look at that on a chart, you can see um, from this bar graph on our um, x-axis we've got population in millions and then on the y-axis you actually have the footprint which is measured in hectares per person. So if you have a look at America, uh, North America, it's got the biggest footprint for its 326 million people in its population. Europe, um, still high, but you know, half of what America is. Um, so it's, then you've got other parts of Europe. Middle East for its 270 million people has a footprint of just over two. You've got Latin America, 535 million people, but again, their footprint is just under two. So that's looking at poorer parts of America. Asia, massive population, um, 3,482 million people. Um, big population, but again, their footprint's just over one. And then you've got Africa sitting there um, with a footprint of just over one as well. Here's our top 10 countries with the biggest ecological footprint per person. So you've got Qatar there, 11.68, Kuwait, um, moving down through Denmark, USA. You see Australia there uh, listed at 6.68. So depending on how recent statistics are, it will tell you, but we're looking at around that seven uh, hectares per person. Um, then have a look at the African countries, which we know Africa has a huge population, even there, um, biggest ecological footprint is in Mauritius at 4.55. So even with such a big population, you would think that they're using a lot of resources, but still their ecological footprint is um, a lot less than Australia. So another way of manage, um, measuring ecological footprints is to actually have a look at how many planets you would need if everyone in that planet kept everyone in their countries kept using the resources that they are. So if you have a look at Australia, they're saying that we actually need two to four planets and we only actually have one. Um, even on that, the bigger scale, uh, if you're looking into parts of America there, if people kept using the resources, wasting uh, and not being able to recycle their waste and things like that, they actually need more than four planets to deal um, with everything that they're um, population needs. What I want you to do now is have a look at how 
or like what your ecological footprint is. You might actually need your parents for some of these things, but the link is here for you. And I've also put it onto your um, emails for you. So go to that link, complete the ecological footprint. Um, take note of the things that are contributing to eco footprint. And also at the end of the quiz, you have the option to see how you can reduce your ecological footprint. I want you to do that as well and bring your answers to class with you on Wednesday. Now, I hope you looked at ways that you can reduce your ecological footprint um, and I want you to bring those answers to class with you. If you didn't, then maybe you need to do a little bit of research um, and ways that you can actually reduce the amount that you are consuming and wasting and have a look at ways that you can actually um, recycle the resources that you're using and um, contribute to a better planet. And that's it, just a short video for today. Um, I want you to start doing some revision for your exams, which are coming up. If you need to collect your notification, come and see me at the staff room on Monday. Um, otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday.